got loose last night and slid down and fell from its scheme. A very great loss. There was nothing among all the ornaments or decorations that was comparable to it in beauty and finish. It should have been fastened better. If only there were a way to get it back again. But of course, there's no telling where it went. And whoever gets it will hide it. I know, because I would do it myself. I believe I can be honest in all other matters, but I'm beginning to realize that at the core and center of my nature is a love of the beautiful, a passion for the beautiful and that it would not be safe to trust me with the moon of another person, and that person didn't know I had it. I could give up a moon that I found in the daytime, for I would be afraid that someone was looking. But if I found one in the dark, I'm sure I could come up with some sort of excuse not to tell anyone anything about it. For I do love moons. They're so pretty and so romantic. I wish we had five or six of them. I would never go to bed. I should never get tired lying out in the moss bank and looking up at them. Stars are good, too. I wish I had a few to put in my hair, but I suppose I never will. You would be surprised to find how far off they are, for they don't look it. When they first appeared, I tried knocking down one with a pole. <laughs> but I couldn't reach, which astonished me. And then I tried claws. But I still never got one. It is because I'm left-handed and can't throw good. Even when I aimed at the one I wasn't after, I couldn't hit the other one. But I did make some close shots, for I saw the black blot of the claws sail into the starry golden clusters about 40 or 50 times, just barely missing them. And I think if I could have held on a little longer, I might have gotten one. They returned the moon last night, and I was so happy. I think it very honest of them. I wish there was something I could do to show their appreciation, for I don't need to worry anymore about losing moons, because they'll return it. I could give them some stars, for we have more than we can use. I mean, I, for I can see that the man cares nothing for such things. He has low tastes, and he's very unkind, too. One night, when I went over there, he had crept down and was trying to get the little speckled fish that swim in the pond. And I had to claw him to make him go back up the tree and let them alone. I wonder if that's what he's for. Hasn't he any heart? Hasn't he any compassion for those poor little creatures? Could it be that he's designed and manufactured for such ungentle work? When one of the clods hit him in the back of the ear, he used a language. It gave me a thrill, for I had never heard speech before. Well, except my own, of course. I couldn't quite understand the words, but, I, but they looked very expressive. When I found out he could talk, I felt a new interest in it, for I loved to talk. I could talk all day, and in my sleep, too. I'm very interesting, but if I had another to talk to, I could be twice as interesting and could never stop if desired. <laughs>